you're new to this channel, my name is Kalula, your name is your name, and welcome to Lula's Lighthouse. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and I would definitely appreciate you so much. But anyway, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so this is actually a five part video. So this first part is gonna be very, very quick and easy, simple. Um, I wanted to come in and introduce myself first. This is Lulu's Lighthouse. Thank you. I have a bunch of high t how to. I can't speak, you guys. I have a bunch of how tos, DIYs, crafts, story times, and much more on this channel. But that's not the topic of today. Today's topic is Passover, and this. Passover series that I have for you is a five part series. This first part is about how to make it easier to prepare for Passover. And then the next couple of videos will be how to clean for Passover and different areas of the house of how to clean, like your kitchen, your living room, your bedrooms, and your garage, and all, all the stuff, your car, all that. So it's a five part video. This is just the first part. And this is the main one that I really, really recommend that you guys watch. If you don't watch any of the ones, watch this one, because this is definitely the one you need. I think everyone knows how to clean, but if they don't, check out my other videos, because I will go into details how to make these cleaning process easy for you, sweeties. But anyway, um, stay tuned, because this series, Okay, so first things first is labeling. Labeling is the key part of making it easier for you during Passover. So I start this process three to two months before Passover even starts. That's just because I'm a very busy, busy person. I have a one-year-old, <laughs> I'm a wife. I have a lot going on. So I don't like to be overwhelmed with things. So what I recommend is you go to like the Dollar Tree. Don't spend more than a dollar. If you want to, that's on you. I'm a little bit frugal. So you go to the Dollar Tree, you buy some stickies. I have some stickies. I'm gonna show them right here. from the Dollar Tree. There's 360 in there. There's also a whole bunch of other stickers that's like 500 pack for like the little shiny ones that you use for school. So any kind of stickers you wanna use, you can use. Um, but you don't have to do this. Let me just make that disclaimer. This is what I do and I think it makes it a lot easier. So um, this is what I use. And what I do is I look at the back of my of all my products that I have. And if I see any leaven agents in there, I put a sticker on it. So that way I know that it's something that I have to use in quickly. And I put all my labels beside barcodes. So if I have something beside a barcode, I know I have to use it. So that way I won't be like, where did I put this sticker at? You know, looking all over the box. If I know there's a label on there with the barcode, I'll put it on there. If there's multiple labels, I mean, multiple barcodes, then go ahead and label all those barcodes on the Before you put any food away, if you go grocery shopping, while you're putting up your food, just make sure you read the back. As you see, there's leavening in there. So I put the sticker right on the barcode so that way I can put it inside my cabinets. All right, this is something I already had, but I just wanted to go through my cabinets again just to always make sure and put a barcode. Put it on the barcode, sorry. All right. And we will look at the ingredients on here, see what they have going on. Uh, it is leavening in there. I'm gonna put a list up of leavening stuff so you can also be aware of it. And I'm going to put it on the barcode. So now I have three items that are already gonna be very easy for me to know that they all have leavening in them. And I'm also going to separate them in my cabinets. I'm going to have my cabinets with all leavening on the top and unleavened on the bottom. If you have a bigger pantry than we do, then you can do one side of it leaven, other side unleavened. 
however you want to do to make sure you know what you have that has leaven so you can actually use it and get rid of it so you're not wasting food also not all things have leaven in it so just make sure you check because sometimes people think oh it has leaven in it but just make sure you're checking um this one is good there's no leaven in here so i know that i'll be able to use this during passover might make something like some pasta or something to actually buying uh, makeup hair products or anything like that that may have leavening agents in there I always look at this anyway when I buy anything I'm just a label reader but if it has anything like that I make sure to when I first buy it to check that first off that's <laughs> something I just do um, this also will save you time during this process so I will um, label the um, products ahead of time also this is another tip that has nothing to do with this but if you are a sister or anything like that and you buy makeup makeup usually has an expiration date on there so if you look at your products it may say on the thing um a 12 months after opening or 36 months or 24 months after opening i always always recommend that you just with a sharpie somewhere on there just write the day you opened it so that way you can know when you throw it out or you can write down the expiration date that should be after you open it because the expiration date is on there for a reason and i can't tell you how many times i've seen people using products that were like expired and they're like i don't know why this isn't working for me it's because it's expired girls it's, it's gone yeah it's over with <laughs> So definitely um, do that. Definitely put stickers on them organizing your pantry. So once you get all of your stuff labeled with uh, the barcodes and stuff, if you're doing this ahead of time, at, like I do, like about two months or three months ahead of time, then you could just leave your pantry the way it is. You really don't have to nitpick and organize it. It can just stay the way it already is organized. But if you are coming closer to Passover, if you have a bigger pantry than what I have, I recommend you putting leaven items on one side and unleavened items on the other side. So that way you can make sure you're using up all the things that have leaven in it. Um, if you have a smaller pantry like me, I put my leaven products on top and my unleavened on the bottom. Um, so that way I can kind of like gauge. Another thing is that when it comes closer to Passover, cleaning your refrigerator and your freezer are very important. A lot of people think about their pantry, but you need to think about your refrigerator, your freezer, as well as um, your seasoning area. So if you have a place where you keep your seasonings and stuff, or flour make sure you're going into these nooks and crannies and just looking through everything as well as the drunk drawer <laughs> yes the drunk drawer everyone has a drunk drawer it is not a junk drawer it's a drunk drawer because that drawer does not know why everything under the sun is in it you probably have ketchup packets in there from three years ago let's get rid of it um, I always make that my mission to clean the drunk drawer every single Passover to make sure there's no leaven in there as well as just going through all my drawers that I never go through because I'm just like, oh, it's just full of junk. Go through them. You never know what you threw in there. Um, these are just some tiny tips of how to do those, but please stay tuned to my next video because I will go into detail of how to clean the kitchen your baseboards um all that so like comment subscribe i appreciate you next video will be dropping on wednesday so stay tuned. i also wanted to go over something really quickly too with waters it's very important to check your waters there's also some waters on here that i didn't post um that are actually clean and what is clean is 
Aquafina is a good one. And I believe the other one is, I'll just post it if it is or not, I can't think. But um, make sure you're checking your water. Le Bleu is clean. Um, let me stop saying clean. Le Bleu is Passover safe. Um, there's no carbonation. Um, it's kosher um, as well as crystal geyser. It is a spring water. Um, there's nothing added in there. Now, the other waters here, like this vitamin water, it is full of leaven. Um, we wouldn't drink that during Passover. As well as this electrolyte water. It has bicarbonate in there. And surprisingly, purified drinking water has sodium bicarbonate in there. So, no bueno. And I've never had this before ever. Um, I just picked it up in the store and it has carbonated water in there. So it as well is not good for Passover. These are just some of the waters that people may look at or see. Um, out of these six, these are the only two at the moment. But Aquafina is another one that is good. These are what we drink during Passover, Le Bleu and Crystal Geyser.